Lowell, Massachusetts was once a great industrial center of America, and the boot cotton mills were at the center of the Industrial Revolution. Boot Mills was opened and operational for over 120 years before it finally closed its doors in 1955. It has since been restored and reopened by the U.S. Parks Department's Lowell National Historical Park. One entire floor of the Boot Cotton Mills Museum shows visitors exactly how a working mill actually looks. The floor is called the Weave Room and is filled with industrial grade looms running at top speed. The park ranger detailed many of the mill's operations for me. But yeah, uh, so we just sort of covered the thread and the weft and the warp, the difference between those warp being the vertical and weft being the horizontal that's operated by the shuttle. Uh, and from there it actually diverges into those two. The weft will head immediately to the fourth floor and be put into bobbins, which are then put into shuttles and then onto the machines. Whereas the other type, the warp, actually has almost an entire floor devoted exclusively to it. So you start with the cradle warper here, also known as the creel. Essentially what you're doing is you're taking 250 bobbins worth of warp thread and pulling it onto one beam known as a section beam. That section beam then goes onto the machine and back. Eight section beams are turned into one warp beam and they're also bleached, uh, not bleached, excuse me, uh, treated at this point so that they are a lot more stiff than their weft counterparts so that they can resist the force of a shuttle constantly going back and forth through them. They need to be a lot more durable. Other than that, you have in the backhand side, uh, backhand side, the back middle, I should say, uh, those are actually not machines. That is what's known as a drawing in frame. It's one of the few instances of skilled labor that you're going to see in the factory. It's operated by a woman who gets a seat who's in the quietest part of the factory, who's paid the most, but she also is more likely to lose her eyesight because it's a very intensive process of pulling every individual thread, about 2,000 per beam, wow. through the eye of a heddle, sort of like a needle, but not quite. Uh, and they are arranging that in the pattern that will eventually arrive on the loom itself, which is on the fourth floor. All of these bobbins are lined up around, I think 24 of them on one battery. Essentially, one of the most frequent jobs you would have to do as a mill girl or as an immigrant worker here in the factory is to actually take the bobbin and change it out because it goes through this weft thread so quickly. Around every five to six minutes, you need to change that bobbin. Yeah. What this does is instead, the very bottom bobbin is going to get knocked into place, simultaneously knocking out the old bobbin and automatically threading itself with a new design of shuttle that they had. So it's, this is taking that job away from the worker and helping to facilitate that switch from say four to eight machines being in one worker's charge to 16 to 24 machines in the 1900s. Power for the mills came from the Merrimack River whose canal locks have been restored to enhance the area. And tourists are transported to and from the mill museum with trolleys 